Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and tonight I thought I would show you uh, something I promised in the software installing video, which is show you the options for package management that come pre-installed on MX Linux's KDE Plasma release. It's a little bit different than the others. Now, um, out of the gate, you do have MX Package Installer, which is here on this little favorites menu here. And I already showed that in the other video, but basically this is our one-stop shop for the pop. For, this is our kind of homegrown package manager. It uses app just like all the other package managers do, uh, but it enables you, uh, enables us to have superpowers in the popular applications area that can pull in things like Google Chrome and other things that aren't in the usual repositories because they're not open source. Uh, and also for the standard repositories, special tabs for the MX test repo, Debian backports repo, and flag packs because quite frankly we like knowing things where things are coming from and in, in this setup you always know if you're installing a flag pack. You always know if you're installing a uh, Deb apt package. Okay, so check out my other video. I'm going to try to put a ding up here so that you can click on it and see because I talk a lot about how MX Package Installer works. But I'm going to show a couple of the items now that are particular to KDE, the KDE release anyway. And one of those, the first one is, I'm going to type software in the search and we'll, we'll get them, uh, is Discover. Now Discover is the package manager Basically, it's the KDE package manager, okay? Um, and it's kind of its own beast. Unlike MX Package Installer or Synaptic or anything like that, Discover's a little bit more of a store format. It's a little, it's got categories over here. You got nice big friendly things you can click on. If you if you click on one, you're gonna get a nice description. You're gonna get some screenshots. You're gonna say where it comes from. Um, there's a lot of information there uh, for you uh, to view the applications. Not every application is going to be in here though, and, and it's kind of weird and I don't particularly understand why, but if I search for MX Tools, which is an application that we have, it is very clearly installed. Um, on ah, it is very clearly installed. This is it here. It does not show up in the package manager, um, at least not in an obvious location. Okay, this would happen too if you had a program installed like Google Chrome and you had Google Chrome's repository enabled, uh, like popular apps will do from MX Package Installer. Google Chrome will show up in here either. Uh, and I think that's because Discover uses um, kind of an all-in-one set of a package management system called Package Kit. It's got a lot of different extensions, but when it but for when it displays information from the repository, it's largely displaying information from what's called I think it's called AppStream data, um, which not all repositories provide, including the MX repository. So it's a, it's a little bit of a of, of an extra hassle there, but if you're looking for the big mammy jammy programs, if you want something, you want, if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, you can find this. It has, I don't believe it's in, configured by default, but it does have the ability to manipulate flat packs. You have to install an extra package, uh, which is flat pack uh, backend. So let's search for that, see if we can find it. Yeah, discover flat pack back end here. So we can click install. And it's going to install the back end. Okay, that's installed. I'm going to close it and reopen it. I'm not a hundred percent certain that that's required for this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. And now I'm going to search for something that I know has a flat pack, Caden Live. And if I click on Caden Live here, 
you're going to see now there's a there's an install button that's going to do the default, which is going to do the uh, Debian apt style installation. Or from sources here, you can tell it what to grab. F one of the flat hubs, one of these is verified, the other is unverified, and then this is the Debian package. Um, so that's kind of how um, how Discover works. It's not quite as handy, I find, for doing fine-tuning package management, but if you're looking for applications on the application level, which, let's be honest, most people are, um, it's pretty nice for going in and grabbing your grabbing your stuff and, and getting installed. It's got a, got a lot of features, but it, it's it's not it's not the best if you want to you know. And whoops, I got a filter on still, and remove things you know. Um, so there are a lot of a lot of different options in here. Oh, here's Google Chrome actually. Oh, it's a flat pack. That's why. So, so the flat pack it tells you exactly what it's getting. So a lot of these things are showing up as flat packs now, um, that aren't actually in the repositories usually. So it's a nice all-in-one stop shop for that kind of thing. It can also do updates. We're gonna show this. See, it shows updates are available. Clicking on that opens up Discover again, but it's gonna show us the update tab now. This is not the usual MX updater that I've shown in past videos. This is this one's special for for KDE. Again, it's using Discover to handle this kind of thing. So we're going to let it finish updating its package list. It kind of does some things automatically like that. I don't know why, but it always feels like if I can't see the things happening, that everything takes forever. I guess I just like that busy text output you get from uh, a terminal window. Okay, so you can see here, this is uh, I set this uh, uh, this installation up of KDE MX release uh, without any updates already applied. So you can see there's quite a few things that have come in since we last built. We've got some we've got some codecs, some streamers, we got some base packages. It will display the packages that are coming in for updating here. And you can uncheck one if you don't want it to uh, to update. Um, so I'm going to go through here, we're going to click update all and it will install all the updates. It's going to ask for a password because it needs it for that. And it is off to the races. You see the tasks here and you can see each individual file coming down and it will download the files and install them as as we go. Okay, so that's going to eat up a lot of bandwidth. We're going to let that go for a while. Discover has some other things in it though, besides just updating in the usual package management. You can download things like Plasma add-ons from the KDE store, or uh, all sorts of things. I don't even know what all's in here. I downloaded a different application launcher, uh, or you know the menu bar here. I downloaded a different one the other day in this and, and used it. Uh, and KD is pretty smart for a lot of those things. So you just, it's just become like, here, here we go. We got uh, Plasma widgets, I think. So yeah, Plasma drawer is the one I installed. And if you install that, okay, it's very quick. It's not a package. It's downloading from a KDE store, okay? Do a right click on this. I, it's, I know it's a menu, so I can use a, a neat thing called the alternatives menu to switch to the to the file and see it does it's hard to see with me running the video but it's got this um, kind of app drawer kind of Androidy iPhoney kind of look to it uh, for browsing different applications to launch I didn't particularly care for it um, but it was there so the application the installation the updates are still going on in the background now there, there there's a there's a caveat here okay when it comes to updates Every now and then, Discover has an issue. Is if in Debian, when it's doing updates with the dev packages, there is a feature, particularly if you've edited a file under, say, what is it, uh, slash Etsy, slash etc., but slash Etsy, that is a conf system config level configuration file. Maybe you've edited it. Maybe you've edited a, oh, I don't even know what it would be. Um, uh, some file that when a base package updates that, that would normally put that file there 
you may get a question to ask that says, hey, which version of this file do you want? Do you want the one that you have edited on your system, which in Debian world is the default usually, or do you want the one that's in the package? The problem is Discover doesn't give you that question, and so it'll just hang. Something will hang, and you'll either not get the question, or you'll you'll or or oh, the update will just eventually fail. It'll time out. You can still do the update from the terminal. You can still do the update from MX package installer, which does have an interface for those questions. Um, the MX project, the packagers, uh, particularly for things like Grub, that was a big one because it would ask you where to install things um, if you were using a legacy bootloader. We've done a, we've done a lot to try to, in our own packages, limit the number of times those questions come up. Okay, but we don't control everything. Debian's got sixty freaking thousand packages in it, so you may get the question, you may need the question answered. Discover's not going to present you with an option for it. You're going to if if you get an update that fails, just do the update from the terminal, or whatever. Can you install our usual? updater and synaptic and that kind of thing like the xfce and fluxbox releases have yes you can um a lot of purists a lot of, a lot of people think well i don't want to mix gtka with kd it, it doesn't actually matter a whole hell of a lot okay uh, it's just the front end guys uh, don't don't get too bent out of shape i personally like synaptic but i've been at this for a very long time and i'm very comfortable in synaptic and that's probably a big reason why i'm comfortable with it but I do like the MX updater because it's got that little terminal interface. So you can install that in here. Okay, but what do I do about the Plasma updater? I don't want them both showing up down here. Well, if you want to get rid of the Plasma updater, there is a switch for it in Tweak, MX Tweak, um, to hide it. Uh, let me find it here. Oh, it's on the Plasma tab. Auto start plasma discover system tray update utility. You can uncheck that, hit apply on your next login, that little updater doohickey won't be there and you don't have to remove discover. You can keep discover and you can install MX updater app notifier, okay? You can install that and have it do its updates and still keep discover. It's fine. You can do whatever you want. It's well, that's kind of the beautiful part about Linux is you can do whatever the hell you want. Um I'm going to give this one second to finish doing the updates because I've got one more item to show you with Plasma. And I needed the updates to be done to show it to you. Okay, packages are starting to get installed and you can see as you go down the list the name it finally gets done. It, 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 switches, from, it switches from downloading to installing and it's done. So all the updates are installed now. One of the updates that took a long time and I forgot was a kernel. And that's one thing, you don't see all the text scrolling on the screen so it's hard, it's hard to tell what's going on. It always makes me give me makes me feel a little weird not seeing every little bit that's scrolling on the screen. So one of the things that we did on the other video was installing a downloaded deb package. Now I have downloaded a deb, AbbeyWord, my personal favorite test package, test application for any kind of installing. Not only does it start with A, so it's usually at the top of a lot of lists, but uh, I know what this thing's supposed to do. It's a very simple word processor for those of you that don't know what AbbeyWord is. It's been around a long time. It was a part of what some might have called the GNOME office long, long ago. Um, anyway, we don't have Deb Installer installed on on KDE uh, because, well, for reasons. Uh, because Plasma can actually do all of it. So, or, or Plasma Discover can actually do all of it. So if we do a right click on a Deb, um, you can say Open with Discover. Now, if you want Deb Installer, you can install it. It's, it's in the MX repositories. You can install the thing if you want to. But you get a real nice interface for installing your dev file. You get a big install button up here. You get all the dependencies that it's going to install if you want to read that so you know what's going to happen. And we'll hit the install button. And it's very fast, uh, mostly because the, the you know the, it's very small application is why this is fast. But it, it's, it's downloading all the dependencies. It's installing the dev. And you can even launch from here if you want to, because again, that's more of a software store. So here's our little, our little Abbey word. So you can see you can install from a dev file directly with Discover. It's kind of nice for that. I kind of like the all-in-one approach. I kind of like the software store aspect for browsing applications, because I'm not usually looking for a little library file. I'm usually looking for a 
for an application suite when I'm looking for something. So I got there's a lot to like about Discover. It does do updates. I personally feel it doesn't have the greatest interface in the world for actually applying your updates, but it does let you do selective updates. So that's nice. And you still have MX Package Installer uh, if you want to um, a somewhat more traditional experience or you just want the popular apps. So that's your software installation options on the KDE release. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post to forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year.